Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on two types of special graphs called as star graph and cyclic graph. Okay, so these are the special types of two graphs in graph theory. Okay, first one is star graph. A star graph is a special type of graph in which n minus 1 vertices have degree 1 and one single vertex has the degree n minus 1. So that type of graph is called as star graph. Okay. In star graph, out of n vertices, n minus 1 vertices are connected to a single vertex that is a single central vertex that vertex, that type of graph is called as star graph. A star graph with n vertices is denoted by S suffix n. Okay. Now, we can see these examples. A star graph of order n is denoted by S suffix n. Okay. If n is equal to 1, it means star graph with one vertex. If m is equal to 2 means star graph with two vertices. If m is equal to 3 means star graph with three vertices. If m is equal to 4 means star graph with four vertices. If m is equal to 5 means star graph with five vertices. m is equal to 6 means star graph with six vertices. Okay. Now, Consider this example, star graph with six vertices can be denoted by S suffix 6. That means the star graph with six vertices consists of six vertices. That is A, B, C, D, E, F. Six vertices. Okay. So according to the definition, a star graph is a special type of graph in which n minus 1 vertices have the degree 1. Okay. So, for example, among the uh, 6 vertices, okay, without considering vertex A, what are the remaining vertices? B, C, D, E, F. Okay. What is the degree of vertex B? Only 1. Because one edge is incident on vertex B. What is the degree of vertex D? Only a 1. One edge is incident on vertex D. Next, what is the degree of vertex E? 1. Because one edge is incident on vertex E. What is the degree of vertex F? A 1. One edge is incident on vertex F. What is the degree of C? 1. Because one edge incident on vertex C. So, n is equal to 6 because star graph with the 6 vertices is denoted by S suffix 6 where n is equal to 6. So, n minus 1 vertices. n minus 1 means 6 minus 1 that is equal to 5. 5 vertices has the degree 1. So, degree of vertex B is 1. Degree of vertex D is 1. Degree of vertex E is 1. Degree of vertex F is 1. Degree of vertex C is 1. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 vertices has the degree 1. Okay. Next one. A single central vertex has the degree M minus 1. So, what is the degree of vertex A? So, vertex A is the single central vertex. So, what is the degree of vertex A? How many number of edges incident on vertex A? 1 edge, 2 edge, 3 edge, 4 edge, 5 edges. So, degree of vertex A is 5. 5 means 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 means n minus 1. A single central vertex has the degree n minus 1 and n minus 1 vertices has the degree 1. So, that type of graph is called as star graph. So, this definition is satisfied in S6. 
So hence we can say that S6 is a star graph. Okay. Next one. A star graph with the n vertices is denoted as S of x n. So a star graph with the six vertices can be denoted by S of x six. Next one. In star graph, out of n vertices, n minus one vertices are connected to a single central vertex. Okay. So among the six vertices, n minus one vertices, that is a six minus one, five vertices B, C, F, E, D are connected to a single central vertex, that is vertex A. So then it is a uh, star graph with the six vertices. Okay. So star graph with one vertex, star graph with two vertices, star graph with three vertices, star graph with four vertices, star graph with five vertices. We can write it as in this way or in this way. A is the single central vertex, and B, C, E, D are the uh, n minus one vertices. So n minus one vertices has the degree of one. And the only single central vertex has the degree n minus one, that is a uh, five minus one, that is a uh, four. Okay. So this is the description about the star graph. Okay. Next we go for cyclic graph. So a graph in which n vertices and n edges, n must be greater than or equal to three. Okay. A graph with the n vertices. And a n number of edges. These n number of edges forming a cycle. So then that type of graph is called as cycle graph. Okay. Now consider this example. For example, consider this example. That is a C5. So cycle graph with a five vertices. So A, B, C, D, E. Five vertices are there. Okay. How many number of vertices are there in C5? Five. How many number of edges are there? A to B is one edge. B to C is another edge. C to D is another edge. D to E is another edge. And E to A is another edge. So this graph consists of five vertices and five edges. Okay. These five edges forming a cycle in it. So then. That type of graph is called as cyclic graph. Okay, consider this one. This graph consists of four vertices and four edges. A, B, C, D. Four vertices, four edges. A to B, B to C, C to D, D to A. Okay, these four edges forming a cycle. So then, that type of graph is called as cyclic graph. Okay, so here. N is equal to three, and a number of edges is also equal to three. So A, B, C are the three vertices. A to B is one edge. B to C is another edge, and C to A is another edge. So this graph consists of three vertices and three edges. Three edges forming a cycle. So then it is called as a cyclic graph. Okay. So here also. This graph consists of uh, six vertices A, B, C, D, E, F, and six edges A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, and E to F, and F to A. Okay. So a cyclic graph must contain at least one cycle in it. So that type of graph is called as cyclic graph. A cyclic graph with n vertices is denoted by C sub x n. Okay. Next, in a cyclic graph, each and every vertex has a degree two. What is the degree of vertex A? Two edges are incident on vertex A, so that is A to B and A to E. Hence, we can say that degree of vertex A is two. Next, what is the degree of vertex B? Two edges are incident on vertex B, that are A to B and uh, B to C. Hence, we can say that degree of vertex B is two. Next, what is the degree of C? Two edges are incident on vertex C, that is B to C and C to D. So, degree of vertex uh, C is two. Next, what is the degree of vertex D? Two edges are incident on vertex D, 
so degree of vertex D is 2. What is the degree of vertex E? Two edges are incident on vertex D. Hence, we can say that degree of vertex E is 2. Okay. In the cyclic graph, each and every vertex has the degree 2. Okay. So, now see the points. Whatever I am discussing, uh, I am once again telling. A, side, a graph with n vertices, n must be greater than or equal to the 0 and the n edges forming a cycle. So, this graph consists of 5 vertices and 5 edges. So, these 5 edges forming a cycle, uh, hence we can say that it is a cycle graph. Okay, next one. A graph containing at least one cycle in it. Okay, at least one cycle. So, a graph may contain more than one cycle, but in the cyclic graph, Okay, a graph containing at least one cycle in it, then it is called as cycle graph. Okay, at least one cycle, it may contain more than one cycle, there is no problem at all. So, a graph to become a cyclic graph, that graph containing at least one cycle in it. Okay, with n edges. Next one, in the cyclic graph, degree of each vertex is 2. So, we can see in this one, each vertex has a degree uh, 2 because it is a C8 cyclic graph with 8 vertices. So, each vertex has a degree 2 because 2 edges are incident on each and every vertex. So, degree of each and every vertex is 2 in the cyclic graph. The cyclic graph with n vertices is denoted by C suffix n. Okay, so that is a C3 means cyclic graph with 3 vertices, C4 means cyclic graph with 4 vertices, C5 means cyclic graph with 5 vertices, C6 means cyclic graph with 6 vertices, C8 means cyclic graph with 8 vertices. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name, Digbella Srinivasarao. Thank you.